In the previous videos we saw how to read, update and delete records in a Google Sheet from AI2 using a Google Web application. In this video we show how to create a new recording. Click the Read All button to activate the Add Record button. Then press this button. You will have a form to fill out. Once you have finished filling in the text boxes, click OK to save the data in the Google Sheet. The program should not accept an ID that already exists in the Google Sheet. The Cancel button allows you to have the application interface as it was. Open the script link to the Google Sheet and add this code that creates a record. The web app is activated when the URL to the Webot is called with parameters. Each action available in the web app is summoned with a thong parameter. These parameters are received from the AI2 application. The append row function adds a new row to the existing sheet. To finish this part, save then republish your script in a new version. In the App Inventor part add a text box that allows the user to enter a new ID. This is the missing field since the other text areas which allow entering the first name, last name, country, gender and age already exist. This text zone will be invisible and we make it appear as soon as we need it. Add an Add Record button in Horizontal Arrangement 3. And uncheck the Enabled box. Then, and in a new Horizontal Arrangement place two buttons OK, and Cancel. This horizontal arrangement is invisible in the initial state. And we end this part by adding the notify and web components. Now in the block editor, add a function to empty all text boxes. Then, in the click event of the read all button make the add record button active. The Add Record button modifies the interface. Clicking on it makes some components visible and others invisible. It also allows you to empty all the input fields. The Cancel button returns the interface to its initial state. Now program the OK button to send data to the Google Sheet. The job is to create the URL required by the web application. It is formed by the script URL, the func parameter and the parameters generated by the App Inventor 2 application. Once the request is complete, empty all input fields and display a notification.
Now we want each ID to be unique for that we add a condition. If the ID entered by the user does not exist in the list view then the record will be added to the Google Sheet and the ID will be added to the list view. Otherwise a notification is displayed to inform the user that it is an invalid identifier.